Welcome back as we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. It's frustrating to lose something. We've all been there. We've all done it. You know, maybe you, you lose your, your reading glasses or your sunglasses. Or maybe you lose money and yet you panic about it. Maybe you have misplaced some paperwork and, and you, you can't really recover it. Or maybe, maybe you lost your train of thought. That can be real frustrating when you walk into a room and you forget what you were going to tell the other person. But then there's that, that saying that uh, when you're looking for something that, you, you know, the last place you look is where you find it. It can either make you laugh, roll your eyes, or grit your teeth. But as a society, we lose things. As people, that's just natural. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 6 says, A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. So I, I wonder, would you classify yourself more towards being a hoarder or the other side of the spectrum of a minimalist? Are you someone who just has a lot of extra stuff or are you someone who you throw away real quickly? And if we're honest, both extremes probably aren't the best approach. And there's benefits to both sides. You can see how a hoarder is valuing the world and God's creation and the things that Jesus has put in front of us. You can see how minimalists are trying not to be tied down to things of this world, to, to be basic and, and limit their footprint in this world and not cause destruction for others. But we have to make sure we use discretion and wisdom with, with the things that we have. Because if we're honest, whether we have a lot or whether we have a little, what we have is to be used for the glory of Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about my life, my ability, my happiness. It's about using my stuff for Jesus. And sometimes it means we need to hold on to things. Sometimes it means we need to let things go. And, and I would probably guess in our world today, we tend more towards materialism. We want things. We think we need things. We keep things in our life just because we have them. Now, I'm not saying we just need to purge everything and throw away, but purging, a lot of times, promotes growth, allows us to dig deeper, to depend more on Jesus, and allow Him to speak into us. But as you think about the things you have, one of the things I, I want to remind you of is that Jesus never threw you away. No matter how corrupt we got, no matter how sinful we became, Jesus never threw us away. There were times where we could have been condemned. Times where Jesus could say this wasn't worth it. But because of his love in us, he did not throw us away. I would encourage you to have that same mentality. To see others in the way that Jesus sees you. They may be broken, but they're not worth discarding. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.